Okay, graphic styles under window. Graphic styles. are effects that you can apply to different objects. Graphic styles come from or originate from effects and they're essentially saved effects. So if I type some text here, And I'll increase the size of my text. And I select one of these styles, it applies a shadow or a scary bevel or some other frightening thing. But what a graphic style is, is essentially, this is the one I want. Let's go back here a couple steps. What a graphic style is, is an effect that has been saved in this palette as a graphic style. There's also the graphic style library. When you go to the flyout menu of the graphic styles panel, I'll show you where that is again. Graphic styles, flyout menu, and then we have open graphic style library. There's all these presets that exist. Type effects may be one of the helpful ones. And now this has opened up a separate panel in Illustrator. If I select and apply a graphic style, it puts that graphic style into the main library. So it transfers it from this individual library into the main graphic styles library. You can see as I choose these different options, essentially they're very scary presets. Now one of the odd thing here, odd things here if I, is if I select this text, all of a sudden it doesn't look like it's doing anything. It is acting as if I have no fill and no stroke on this text, or really that it is transparent. And if I look down here, it is in fact transparent, which is not so helpful because I've switched the, the style so many times, it really doesn't know what to apply there and it gets confused. So I'm going to go ahead here and make it black again. And as soon as I do that, then it's able to apply the style. It can't apply the style to a transparent form, but it can apply the style to this black form. Does that make sense? Oddly, also, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of these, but sometimes they're helpful for things. Whatever you do now in terms of font switching, it should maintain the same style, and there's the style. If I type a new element now, okay, no style is initially applied. Under object under effect there we go under effect the first chunk or section of these effects these are actually illustrator effects the bottom section are Photoshop effects and in fact if you try and use one of these effects it will rasterize or turn your text into no longer editable text but rather bitmap text probably not something you want to do on a regular basis. If you're designing an illustrator, you're designing an illustrator because you want to keep things vector and nice and sharp. If you look under stylize, there's where drop shadow is. And if I click on preview, you can see there's the drop shadow. The distance, which is based on offset here, is a tenth of an inch. And I can make that 01 and 01 and turn the preview on and off and now this is the same style more or less as the one above it and that's where that comes from to keep this to keep the style I'm just going to change it to a different color here so I have something that's worthy of saving so now you can see it looks more like a glow and if I remove the blur it really looks a lot less like a shadow and if I increase this 
number here to 0 0.05. Then you can see how hard edged that shadow is. And now if I reapply the blur, very too blurry. And now somewhat blurry, and it probably wants to be a little more blurry than that. And that's the softness, there we go, of the shadow. To keep this as a style with it selected, you come over to your graphic styles menu and you can just click this little new graphic style choice and there it is right in there. It put the style in my palette. Graphic styles can be applied to other things besides text, but it's worthy of noting that you want to make sure when you're using a graphic style that you don't pile styles on top of each other. Sometimes if you keep clicking, as I was showing earlier, it starts canceling itself out and it doesn't know what to do. So often it's helpful to make sure that your object is clean and has no style on it before you apply a style. And so that's what's happening here. It doesn't really know what to fill that with because this text is undefined fill. But then as soon as I fill it back with black again, it now has the style on it. It's kind of an anomaly in Illustrator. Not the most helpful thing. Interesting also to notice, however, if I use this eraser tool and I just erase through this, the style is maintained on all these little vector elements that I have now chopped up into these ugly little pieces. But really just to show you how the style will work when you start, you know, messing with it. And that is how you create and use a graphic style. The graphic style elements, all of these different things that you can apply to your artwork are your effects for Illustrator. And there's many of them. Now, Pathfinders really don't get saved as an effect, but the stylized, the drop shadow, feather, inner glow, outer glow, rounded corners, scribble, all do as do the warps. So if I gave this thing a warp, okay, and I'll just say that that's fine, and then I'll make that into a new graphic style. Call it warp one, and delete that and create something else, and apply that style, it will warp it in the same way. And that, my friends, is graphic styles.